Hello everyone, welcome to Developers Checkpoint. In today's video, we are going to learn about replication in Kafka. As we know that Kafka is a distributed commit log and it used to distribute messages across multiple machines in order to ensure durability in case of machine failure. So in this video, we are going to learn about the concept of replication in Kafka. We are going to learn about the controller node and then replica nodes. We are also going to see the process of replication inside a topic having multiple partitions. So without any further ado, let's dive into the video. So we have discussed about the architecture of Kafka in our previous videos. If you haven't gone through those videos, I will add the link of those videos and will highly recommend you to go through those videos first. So as we know that Kafka used to run across multiple machines and those machines are known as the brokers. So the machines that are running an instance of Kafka are known as brokers. So Kafka is a commit log and it contains multiple messages. So Kafka has a broker that is running a Kafka instance. It has a topic and the messages are in stored inside a topic as a commit log. So we used to distribute these messages across multiple machines. And the mechanism of replicating those messages across multiple brokers is known as the replication. So if we look at this example, if a particular message is written on the broker 1 and we are having two replicas of our partition, then that particular message will also be pushed to the other replica. So in this case, we will say the replication factor of our topic is 2. The number of replicas that we have to maintain for a particular message is known as the replication factor of a particular topic. Okay, so what will happen in case of replication factor equal to 3? So here we are having 3 brokers. That is we are having 3 machines that is running Kafka. And if a particular message is written on the broker number 1, so that message will float across broker number 2 as well as the broker number 3. So here we are having 3 copies of our message and therefore the replication factor of this particular topic is 3. So there is going to be a node that is going to accept all the read and write operations for a particular partition. So that node is known as the controller node. So if this node is the controller node, this node is going to accept all the read and write operations for the particular partition. And the other nodes that are the copies or the replica nodes of the particular partition is going to store the copy of the message that is written on the controller node. So why do we use replication? We use replication in order to ensure the durability of the message in case of a machine failure. So for example, we are having two brokers. So one of the broker will be a controller node that is this node is going to accept all the read and write operations and the other one will be a replica node. So what will happen if the broker one is having some issues and it goes offline. In that case, there will be a no controller. So there as the broker two is the only replica of a particular partition that broker two will become the controller node and will start accepting all the read and write operations for the particular partition. As this node is already having all the messages that were committed by the previous controller, there will be no loss of data in case of machine failure. So we are having durability of our messages in, even in case of a machine failure. So till now we have discussed a scenario where our topic is having only a single partition. Now let's discuss a scenario where our topic is having multiple partitions. So we used to divide our topic into smaller partitions in order to add multiple consumers to that and we can achieve concurrency using that. If you are not comfortable with number of partitions and consumers, I will add the link of the video where I have discussed about the consumer groups and partitions. So here we are having two partitions. So for example, this is our first node, the second and third and this one is our controller node. If we are having a replication factor of 3 here, the node 2 and node 3 will make the copies of the partition 1. Okay, so in this case, if any of the message uh, is written at the partition 1 by the controller node, 
that particular message or the particular commit will flow to other partitions or the other replicas as well so in this case if something happens to the controller node and the controller node goes offline then the other two nodes that are having the replicas of the particular partition will participate in a leader election and the node that will become the leader will become the controller node and this controller node is now going to accept all the read and write operations for the particular partition we will be discussing the process of leader election in the next video so guys that is for the video please like and share the video if you like the content and subscribe to the channel for the similar content